between them. So for this one that I did, um, 1012 is between 1014 and 1011. So you could draw a line between them. And then um, you can move the line down between 1016 and 1011 because 1012 is in between these two numbers. Um, and then you can move your line through these two because 1012 and 1014 are in between these. So you would move it between 1014 and 1010, and then 1014 and 1010 again, and then 1011 and 1013, and then finally till you get to your 1012 point. Um, and then you can also expand your line outside until here. So then that's your 1012 line. And then, so for the 1016, um, isoline, you could just do the same thing. First, identify where all the 1016s are. So 1016, 1016, 1016, 1016, um, 1016, 1016. And I think that's it. So then connect here, you can connect it to the edge. And then you could draw your line through 1020 and 1014 and then connect it to your 1016 and then keep connecting it to your another 1016 you can move your line through here through here and through here 1016 connect them and then connect them and then you can go off the map just like that to connect it to the edge and then finally for 1020 you do the same thing how you draw the isolines for an isoline map. So for a topographic profile map, um, let's read the first the question. Using the grid, construct a topographic profile along line AB A, B, by plotting the elevation of each contour line that crosses line AB. Points A and B have already been plotted on the grid. Connect all plots with the line from A to B to complete the profile. So to begin, you have to use scrap paper for this. To find the elevations of all the contour lines that A um, line segment A B crosses, so we could do that like this, like that. So first, just label all the contour lines that are crossing the line segment. So this A, B, this is all of them. And then we want to label their elevation. So A is um, 1,500. So you can label 1,500 there. And then B is also 1,500. So that's 1,500 there. And then to figure out these, these, you have to look at the contour interval. So 100 feet. And we can identify that it's going up by 100 feet each time because it gets to 2,000 over here. So this one would be um, 1,600. 1,600. This one would be 1,700. Um, and then we move across. This one would be 1,800. This one would also be 1,800. It's still the same contour line. Um, and this one would be going, this is now going down, back down again, so this is 1700. This is 1600, it goes down. And so finally we get to 1500 again. So now after we got all of the elevations and we want to graph, a, graph it on the grid, we would align it with the graph. So 1500, this is A. So those are already graphed out. So we would want to graph 1600. And you should make sure that you, you're using the same distance that you got from your contour elevation. So 
distance so we know it's 2,500 find the distance using this it's exactly three miles so our distance is three miles so to calculate change in food value 2,000 feet minus 1,500 feet over three miles and so we do the math it's 500 feet over three miles and we get and end up with 166.667 feet per mile 